What's cracking guys, JP here again, bringing you a how to know video on when to clean your fish tank. So in today's topic, I'll be showing you a few things, a telltale sign if you don't have a lot of test kit, if you don't have a lot of experience, I'll show you some tips and tricks on when to clean your fish tank. Now everybody's tank is a little different so I can't really tell on the exact frequency on when to clean or change the water specifically but I'm gonna show you some tricks and tips of what I learned over the years uh, keeping fish so let's get to it the first question you ask yourself when do you really need to clean your fish tank is when did the last time you change the water or clean your fish tank it could be a week ago could be a month ago or was it a year ago now everybody's tank is different if you have a heavy bio load it definitely helps a lot like this tank to change the water once a week this is a 75 gallon aquarium with about a 20 gallon sump and it's there's a lot of fish in this aquarium so I definitely clean this tank once a week or it really needs to clean twice a week now for most people, you can get away for a light bio load about once or twice a month. But what I realized over the years, keeping fish aquarium and such, is fish definitely poop a lot. And those poop become nitrates and they can build up over time. And if you don't have a schedule made for yourself, they can stack up onto you and by the time you know it, you already forgot when to change your fish tank aquarium water and the fish died so definitely build a routine on when and how often you clean your fish tank well, the next sign on when to clean your fish tank is how is the appearance of the water now ask yourself does it look cloudy does it have a lot of particles floating around if so it's definitely time to clean your fish tank and change the water now in my situation, I just fed these guys about a few minutes ago and these guys are Mbuna or African cichlid and they like to pick up rocks, spit them out and see if there's food in them. And that's what caused the cloudy water and the particles floating around in my aquarium. But if you don't have fish that does this and it's already always cloudy, definitely time to do some water changes. The next telltale sign is what is the color of the water your water should be looking clear or somewhat greenish or brownish but if it's really brown and really green definitely time to change your water unless you don't have if you have a driftwood then it doesn't really matter because the driftwood will release tannin that cause the brown pigmentation on the water but fish poop and fish food over time will release green and brown coloration basically oxid oxidized stuff that will turn your water brown my next tip on when to change your water is testing now i have a nitrate test kit right in front of me you can buy any brand of t nitrate test kit i have a salford here in front of me this is for salt water over the years i have used api nitrate test kit and that is pretty cheap, reliable, and simple and straightforward to do. You know, 10 drops and 10 drops and you're good to go. But if you don't, if you can't afford a nitrate test kit, get a sample of your water, go to your local pet store and if they offer free nitrate test kit, definitely do and let them, you know, test it for you and see where you at. And if you don't have a fish store that tests your nitrate, just look at your, you know, aquarium. How many fish are in there? Does it look a lot? Does it, they, are, they, are they big? If you only have one fish that are really big and poops a lot, definitely clean it more often. If you only have a little beta and a 20 gallon, then you, know, you don't have to change it as much. My next tip on when to change your water is to look at the health of your fish. Now look at your fish. Do they look energetic? Are they looking happy and healthy? If they're not, it's definitely time to change the water. For the health though, um, a lot of fish I realized over the years is when the nitrate gets high, as high, I've seen this as high as 200 in this tank, and there's no effects. 
but once I got even higher than that, a lot of the fish will start to develop some kind of uh, ragged fins because they can't heal quick enough because these fish fight all the time. Uh, the next telltale sign for me that I need to change is their eyes start to pop out. You know, if they get scratched up their eye, if your nitrate and your water is pretty healthy or pretty clean, they can heal pretty quickly actually. But once it gets to the dirty point, uh, their healing ability slows down. And that's when you notice that the fishes are not looking as healthy. Next one is, is your fish looking kind of sad? Uh, staying in one corner, laying on their side, you know, breathing heavily or staying on top. Definitely need to change the water. You know, help your fish. If you have a dog or a cat, do you put them in a room and don't let them sit on their poop? Or do you take them out and poop, have them poop outside? My next tip is how is your filtration media looking? Now, is it looking kind of dirty like this? That's pretty normal, so that's okay. Or is it looking kind of brown and nasty like that? <laughs> so this is a sump. I can physically see it in with my eyes without removing anything. Pretty easy. But a lot of people keep hang on the back filter. They stay on top of the aquarium and they suck water and spit back out. Now is your media, media looking like really nasty? It's definitely time to clean. Now a lot of people for bigger aquarium have canister filter. Canister filter kind of just sit outside, suck water in, spits them back to the aquarium. You can't really see it unless it's clear, but uh, what is a telltale sign is if your water output that's shooting back out is slow, then that means your filtration media is full of poop and it's getting clogged up. And that's when you need to clean that fish tank and that system. For a sump like this, if your filter sock is looking like this, it's overflowed, um, it's looking kind of brown and dark, definitely to change the water and change the filter sock. And also if the biofiltration or bio uh, media is looking kind of nasty, you know, full of poop, you can just see like layers of poop, definitely need to rinse them out with tap, uh, not tap water, rinse them out with tank water. Remember that, rinse your media with tank water. Don't you rinse them with chlorinated aquarium because that will kill your bacteria and you will cycle the whole system again. So that wraps up my video on when to clean your fish tank. So I hope you apply my tips and lesson in this video to you and give your fish a healthier lifestyle. Your fish will definitely appreciate more to have a cleaner water they can live longer, healthier, and be more happier. And they're, if they're happy, they can make more babies. You can sell them off, make money, or keep them, let them grow. <laughs> but nobody wants to sit, live with their own poop and pee that's just floating around in air. And then you can, they can slap you. So, <laughs> no one wants to have that. So, happy fish keeping and Adios.